it's a beautiful morning in any town USA, and it's time for little Johnny to head to school. But not before he's brushed his teeth, washed his face, and washed behind his ears. Like all good boys and girls, little Johnny is excited to head to school, where he will gain a lion's share of knowledge from the world-renowned American public school system. Wait a minute, what's that smell? Yes, Johnny, it's breakfast time, a good old-fashioned American breakfast. Eat up, Johnny! Hold on there, Johnny. Aren't you forgetting something? Thank you, Mom. You're very welcome, sweetheart. That's the ticket. Why are you in there? It's a newspaper, son. Those damn commies are at it again. What is that thing, Dad? It's a cigarette, son. Some people, like your grandmother, think they're bad for you. Those people are plain old ignorant. That's right, son. Then yeah, why would I say bad for you? That's just the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Johnny, let me try to explain. As Americans, we have three God-given rights. The right to a good, hearty breakfast, the right to segregate schools based upon color, and the right to smoke. Good. Hi, I'm Michael Charles. I'm the director of ASH. A-S-H, the advocate for smokers' health. Through our studies with cats with both asthma and tuberculosis, we have found a remarkable recovery when the animals were subjected to large quantities of cigarette smoke. As a matter of fact, the only injury the little animals received was burnt paws when they would clutch the cigarette, not wanting to let it go until that last satisfying puff. Bang, 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 bang. It's time to get you to work, sweetheart. Well, isn't it time for you to get to work, too? Well, this house isn't going to clean itself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have the turkey ready for all tonight. Okay. Where do cigarettes come from? Do they grow on trees? No, little Johnny. You couldn't be more wrong. Our story begins hundreds of years ago. The savages were the first people to reap the benefits of smoking. Don't get me wrong, they weren't wise enough to pack them as cigarettes. That would come much later at the hands of a far superior civilization. But they did pave the way for all of us later smokers. As America has grown, so has our love for tobacco. Take, for instance, the brave Americans who are fighting overseas. What do you think keeps them going? I'll tell you exactly what it is. It's cigarettes. <coughs> <coughs> you fellas smoking back here? <coughs> no, sir. Jesus Christ, why the hell not? What, I got a bunch of goddamn Soviets in my company? He's right, you know, Johnny. Communists hate cigarettes almost as much as they hate freedom. Honestly, Johnny, there's nothing quite like the taste of a good cigarette. Look, everybody, it's the Marlboro Man! Yeah! He's giving this kid an autograph. Hey, everybody, the Marlboro Man is over here! Oh, hey, yeah! Give me one, give me one, give me a smoke, baby. <laughs> Woo! Marlboro Man for President. Youths and their creativity. Do you know who likes cigarettes, Johnny? Uncle Sam. So does President Ike Eisenhower. 
Of course, so does Vice President Nixon. Smoking has become a cornerstone of America's workplace. Take, for instance, your father's business. Hey, can we get a couple more smokes over here? It's a little better than the old battle axe at home. Got that right, buddy. Don't you remember your father's birthday, Johnny? What was the one thing he wanted more than anything? Happy birthday, Dad. Well, happy birthday, Dad. Love, little Johnny. Did your mother have anything to do with this? I believe she did. That's exactly what I wanted. Who wants cake? <laughs> I think I finally know about cigarettes. Well, that's good to hear, son. What's that, Dad? Well, that's scotch, son. Wow, man, I try some? <laughs> That's a lesson for another day. But I tell you what, you can have a cigarette right now. God bless America. Oh man!